What's up everybody, this is Danny, and with the iPhone 8 rumors heating up, I think we're kind of neglecting the two other phones that we're gonna get, the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus. More than likely, the iPhone 8 or X or Edition or whatever it's gonna be called is gonna be a third phone also offered along with the iPhone 7S and the 7S Plus. This makes a lot of sense because this is what Apple traditionally does. They put out an S edition with upgraded internals and more features. And then on the second year, they put out a brand new iPhone. But this year is a little different because it is the 10th anniversary. What's awesome is I got a hold of the iPhone 7S Plus prototype. So we're going to do a comparison here and I'm going to let you know what you can expect from the iPhone 7S Plus. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that this has a glass back on it. And that's probably because that wireless charging is coming to the new iPhones and that means the 7S and the 7S Plus will get wireless charging, which is really nice, and it probably makes everything a little bit more cohesive so they can use the same materials from the new edition iPhone to the 7S and 7 Plus. On the sides, you see the same stainless steel finish that you saw on the iPhone 8 prototypes or mock-ups, so it looks like there's uniformity there. And things look a little bit more streamlined here in the back, where the antenna lines were kind of wrapped across the top here, and now you don't see any antenna lines at all. This makes things look a little bit cleaner. Not a huge difference, but it's something to note. Everything else looks pretty much the same, all the button placements and everything, but you will see a smaller antenna break right there. Same thing there towards the bottom. Lightning port speakers, all the same. Everything else looks the same up here. I'm presuming we're gonna have the same display. You have the Touch ID sensor right down here, so you won't need those extra sensors that the iPhone 8 will have. I'm assuming that the same dual camera system is going to be here on the 7S Plus as well, so I guess we'll see. I think we can safely say that all of the processing power will be here too, the new A11, iOS 11, and all of that good software stuff, minus all the sensors and the facial recognition. I'm sure all the cutting edge tech will be on the iPhone 8, but this could be a really good alternative for some people. So the rumors say that there might not be Touch ID at all. It'll just be purely facial recognition, 3D facial recognition. So it should be very secure. But for people that actually want a home button or the traditional way, or if they don't like this new aspect ratio, which I'm a fan of, I think it looks great on here. I mean, the bezels are absolutely huge on the older generations. So this is a really welcome feature that I'm looking forward to. But some people might not want this aspect ratio and they want the traditional aspect ratio, the same power, and they want that traditional home button with Touch ID then I think the iPhone 7S Plus, especially with the new dual camera system ported over, this could actually be the phone to get for those people that don't want this. Honestly, I think it's gonna be hard for people not to buy this one. This one just looks so much more futuristic and I like the form factor a lot better. But if this one's not available, I think it's gonna be very hard to get on launch. This might not be a bad choice. So here's what I wanna know. Would you pick the iPhone 7S Plus or the iPhone 8? I know it might be a no-brainer, but let me know in the comment section below. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little look. And if you feel like being awesome, make sure you subscribe and smack that like button if you're excited for these new iPhones. And I'll see you in the next one.